As you can see, it has these cute lights. Oh my God, I love it. Okay, so when you first come in, and sorry about the echo, I have a staircase, which I absolutely love. It looks kind of rough right now, probably because of like people not having rugs down and water damage from the snow, because I do live in Chicago. So I think I'm gonna put a runner right going down here. I don't know yet, y'all. I'm still just like, I'm just gonna live in this apartment for a couple months before I decide what I wanna do. The other thing I love is this whole wall is brick. And when I was first looking for apartments, I got real frustrated because I was like, ugh, I can't find anything in my price range that I love. And I watched this video and I'll pop her video in this video, but I was watching her video. I've been carrying around this box of decorations with vines, brick wallpaper, LED lights, and everything. Like, this apartment actually has real brick. So for the first time in my life, I don't have to put up brick wallpaper. She had a brick wall. And she was basically just saying, don't give up. I was homeless for six months. And no, I think she said eight months. Six months or eight months. She was homeless. And she said she almost gave up. But then... She found her apartment and what she loved was the brick wall. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to give up. My next apartment is going to have a brick wall, you know. And literally, the next apartment that I applied for was this one. And it was with a brick wall. And I got accepted and I got it. These ceilings are really high. And I love it because they're like studio lights. And I'm a person who loves photography, I love fashion, and I just can see this being my backdrop. Also with this pipe, I think I'm just gonna um, drape uh, my backdrops on there so I don't need a backdrop stand. But yeah, I think that's so cute. Also this apartment has hella outlets. So this is like a small little entryway. And then this apartment does not have central air. However, I'm in the garden unit and it's right next to the common area. So I don't have the air on and it's freezing in here. Like, <laughs> I wish that I could just control the air conditioning because I am freezing. That's my heater. I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm living on a blow up bed right now. But this whole area is gonna be my room. So yeah. This whole area is gonna be a room. It's bigger than what it looks in this camera. And this side also has the studio lights, which I absolutely freaking love. And like I said, outlets upon outlets. So this is my closet. Well, one of my closets, I have two closets. And up here is storage. I would open it for you. I really would, but like, y'all, I'm short and this studio is really tall. Like if you're tall, I can't, you see, I can't, <laughs> I need to buy a step ladder. I can't reach. But anyway, this is the closet. Yeah, it's a mess in here, but let me turn the light. Yeah, it's a mess in here. I literally moved to Chicago with two suitcases and then I was living on my sister's couch and this is, all the stuff I currently own right now. But yeah, that's my closet. I love that it has two racks and also empty space so where you can store your taller stuff. I might put um, shelves in here for my shoes and my purses and stuff, but we'll see. So that's the closet space. So I'm just gonna step out so y'all can see the whole area. So you can see it's really huge from the entryway going into this whole area. So this shelf here was already built here and I honestly don't know what it's for. I guess you could put your keys on it. I just put my ancestor altar on it for now. Um, I wish it was a little more extended because it does have drawers so like, it could have been like a little office nook, but it's not long enough to fit my laptop. I have a pretty big laptop. That's not gonna fit on there. 
so oh well but i do love that this wall is like a grayish blue that's another thing that attracted me to this apartment so then from the entryway directly across is the bathroom and the lights automatically come on right when you come in here i'm not gonna show my face y'all because i look trifling but <laughs> As you can see, it has these cute lights. Oh my God, I love it. I'm such an extra extravagant person. And the fact that this has like a built-in vanity is amazing. Look at all this counter space, like my sink and the counter space. And then there's like this open area, which I'm assuming you could just put a chair. So I wanna put a chair in here and then my not my makeup because i think it's weird to have makeup in your bathroom but probably a smaller mirror and maybe um a skincare fridge right here too and yeah that's how i'm gonna do that i'm just gonna cover the toilet so you can't see the toilet but there's my shower i'm not gonna lie my shower needs work i think i want to change the shower head because i don't like it even after i cleaned it it still looks kind of disgusting to me I use like the vinegar trick. Yeah, I want a shower that detaches. So yeah, these are my current curtains too. Cause like I said, I just moved in here. I haven't really gotten a chance to decorate it. And that's the only towel I own. <laughs> I'm gonna promise I'm gonna update this y'all. But let me turn this off cause yeah, that's loud. So this is the linen closet. It needs work first of all it's dusty secondly like when i put my shit on the shelf the shelf completely fell over and it broke the lid to my hair butter so that kind of pissed me off but i'm gonna fix that y'all so that's that i'm gonna take it out clean it see this shit just automatically didn't turn on i'm gonna take it out clean it and then um put it back in and probably put some different shelves because these are really ugly but anyway so that's the linen closet that's the bathroom so straight from the bathroom when you turn this way is another room so this is a studio but it's technically like a two-room studio which is what i manifested so when i saw this i jumped on it now there is a step here that i keep tripping on but um i do have a ceiling fan which like i said i don't really need the only time i use a ceiling fan is when i'm in this room which i'm not really because either i'll be in here to cook or either i'll be in here to when i just come in the house because i come through the back entrance yeah so this is why this is a real as fuck just moved in empty apartment tour do y'all see that water damage on the floor there's a hole in my ceiling so i think the landlord said it's something with the bathroom upstairs causing water damage one of the pipes is leaking and it caused the draw drywall to fall on the floor now when i first went to tour this apartment i was aware of this and that was a month ago and i thought it'd be fixed by now he assured me it'd be fixed in the next couple of weeks. Y'all, we'll see. We'll see. I don't know. But <laughs> either way, because of the situation, I got some money off of my apartment. So that works. Also, there was supposed to be a washer and dryer put in this apartment. But because of the hole in the ceiling, they're like, we're not even going to try to do that. And it might mess up something else which i appreciate so because of that as well i got more money off my apartment so it all worked out so here's another closet and i just got supplies to clean for when i first moved in because you know black people we clean the apartment we don't trust people who clean the apartment before us but yeah and this side had shelves initially i wanted this to be my closet for my clothes but like i've noticed that it gets a little dusty in here probably from like the ceiling and then people working on that ceiling so i'm like i'm just gonna use this little area as like an entertainment area i don't really have 
that many friends in Chicago and I don't really entertain people. So I think a small entertainment area is perfect for me. This is not that big. I didn't want this to be my room because it's not big enough and I want like a huge bed. That's the next thing I'm manifesting, but yeah. That's how it looks. This apartment does get a quite nice light for it to be a garden apartment. I swear there's outlets everywhere. For this, I think I'm just gonna put a rug over it or something. Maybe a cute little couch to go here. I don't wanna cover these closets. So I don't know, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I'll put a TV in the closet. I have no idea. But once you turn around from this area, you see the kitchen. <sighs> Not gonna lie, three things sold me on this apartment. The walls being blue, actually four things, maybe five. I'm just gonna list them. The walls being blue, the brick wall, the piping, the studio lights, the vanity, and the motherfucking kitchen. Oh my God, y'all. So this is the kitchen area. There's actually a pantry right here, but I'm not gonna use it because the door pisses me off and I have hella storage in this apartment, so I don't need it. First of all, y'all, a gas stove. I'm obsessed, but let me check my food real quick. Okay, <laughs> I'm obsessed with gas stoves. I had an electric stove and it caused me so much problems and it was so hard to cook. I love that I have electric, not electric. Y'all, I can't talk. I love that I have stainless steel appliances. That's another thing I manifested. So yes, and this sink right here is so deep. I love it. And I have a dishwasher, but I don't use it yet because I have like two dishes. But yeah, that's the dishwasher. Don't use that yet. And the money maker for me is the motherfucking fridge. I have never had a fridge this big. And my last fridge was a white fridge. <laughs> so now I have a stainless steel fridge. What would make it even better is if it had like a water filter built in. But this fridge is so huge that I'm appreciative of it. So that's the fridge. I really don't have anything in here. Like I said, I just moved in here. But yeah, I just got my Brita filter in there and some of my vegan food. And then the freezer it's on the bottom. There's ice in here, but it was left from the other people who lived here and I don't trust that. So I'm probably gonna empty that out. But yeah, I have some shit in the freezer. Um, All this counter space. So when you entertain, you have counter space. People could eat up here. I think I'm thinking of putting um, bar stools on the other side so people can eat. I can eat. Um, hella cabinets. Hella outlets. 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 And there's this cute, they added like these LED lights right here, which are really cute. And then there's some here on this side. And it wraps around to the other side. So I actually leave this as my night light on at night. And I also love this. I think this is so cute. I love it so much, but like I said, I'm short. I need a step ladder because I can barely reach anything in this house. So yeah, these are what the cabinets look like. Like I said, I have like two cups, two forks, two knives, two spoons, but the cabinets are really cute because they don't slam. Like you could try to slam it, they don't slam. They just close softly on their own. Um, yeah, there's space up there. Oh, let me turn on the light so y'all can see with the light on. Yeah, that's how it looks with the light on. This kitchen is so retro, I'm a retro queen. So I'm thinking of decorating it, making it really colorful, retro. Like I said, this area, probably gonna put a mirror in there, maybe a TV, maybe a couch, I don't know yet. Um, that's how it looks, yep.
that's how it looks. So I do have a heater in this room as well. But like I said, I don't think I'll be in this room that much. I want to hang curtains, but like this is so high up. I need like a huge step ladder. Anyway, that's my apartment, y'all. Sorry if it's like a choppy apartment tour. I've never done an apartment tour before, so that's it. Just giving a last look over of it. I'm so grateful to be here. I can't believe I even got approved for this place. All the places I was looking for before, I kept getting denied and they were so much smaller and no stainless steel. And honestly, they kind of were dumps and I was just accepting anything. And I kept getting denied, denied, denied. And I see this and I'm like, I gotta jump on it and I gotta accept it. So I think that was just the universe saying, girl, you need to do better for yourself and we will give it to you. And they did. So thank you for watching, you guys. Um, like, comment, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a video on how I manifested this place and doing a video on my journey to even get here. And I'm gonna do videos on decorating the apartment, also my fashion stuff, once I get all my stuff sent in from Florida. But yeah, I hope you guys have a great day. I love you all and I'll see you next time.